Naam, karibu tena mtazamaji kwa taarifa hizi za NTV jioni kwa kina mimi ni Daniel Mule katika lugha ishara leo tunaye Flora Atieno. Tunaanzia kwa taarifa ambapo taifa linamwombeleza mwanasiasa mashuhuri aliyewahi kuhudumu katika baraza la mawaziri kwa miongo kadhaa Simeon Nyachai. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni miongoni mwa viongozi ambao wametuma rambi rambi zao huku wengi wakimwombeleza kama kiongozi jasiri ambaye alishikilia kukutu mwenge wa uongozi wa jamii ya Bagusi kwa muda mrefu. Kennedy Muredhi ana taarifa zaidi. Habari za kifo cha Simeon Nyachae ambaye mbali na kushikilia nyadhifa mbalimbali za uongozi katika utawala wa mkoa na katika baraza la mawaziri amewahi kuwa ni ya urais zilitolewa rasmi na familia yake katika hifadhi ya Maiti Ali. Kwanza zilianza kama fununu kisha familia yake iliyoshinda kutwa nzima katika hospitali ya Nairobi alikolazwa ikaweka mambo wazi mwendo wa saa tisa ala siri. Our father that is honorable Simeon Nyechae has about an hour and a half ago uh, rested here in Nairobi hospital after a fairly long illness that he has uh, bravely, bravely borne hali yake ya afya ilianza kudidimia mapema Jumatatu huku utenda kazi wa viungo mbalimbali mbali mwilini ukianza kufeli this is a very sad day for all of us but uh, we thank god for the wonderful life that he gave him the opportunity he gave all of us uh, to work with him and for him to be our father and our leader and our mentor Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni miongoni mwa viongozi wa kitaifa waliotuma rambi rambi zao kwa familia ya mwenda zake. Katika taarifa iliyotumwa kwa vyombo vya habari, Rais Kenyatta anamtaja Nyachae kama kiongozi aliyekuwa na bidii katika kila jambo alilofanya na ndiposa akawa na ufanisi mkubwa katika siasa na biashara. Rais anasema kuwa Nyachae ameacha kumbukumbu inayoashiria bidii ni nguzo muhimu ili kupata ufanisi maishani. Kwa upande wake naibu wa rais William Ruto amemwomboleza Nyachae kama kiongozi aliyependa amani, kushughulikia kilio cha wanyonge na aliyependa kuwaunganisha wa Kenya. Na yekinara wa ODM Raila Odinga kupitia ukurasa wake wa Twitter amesema jamii ya Abagusi imempoteza kiongozi shupavu. Aliyekuwa rais wa tatu wa Kenya Mwai Kibaki amemkumbuka Nyachae kama waziri muhimu katika uongozi wake ambaye aliwajibikia kazi yake na kuhakikisha miradi muhimu ya serikali imetekelezwa ipasavyo. Wanasiasa na washirika wa serikali waliotangamana naye na kupata mafunzo kutoka kwake wanasisitiza alikuwa mwanasiasa shupavu aliyepanda nidhamu ya hali ya juu na walijifunza mengi kutoka kwake. This was a very reliable and dependable leader. If Nyachai had an assignment you would have no doubt that the matter would be done. He was a very disciplined person. And even when we were younger, we feared going to see to the house too. And he was very, very strict. Kennedy Muredi, NTV.